Hey everybody, it's Dan. Welcome to Weld Fever. Hey, we're here at the home of the Welding Certification Center in Pomona, California again. And on today's episode, we're going to make a nifty little electrode holder out of some spare parts that we have laying around the shop. So stick with me. Here we go. Okay, real quick, I just want to take a minute to uh, kind of highlight and showcase this uh, fantastic saw here. This is the Slugger by Fine USA, 14-inch uh, metal cutting saw. Uh, the good folks at Fine were uh, nice enough to supply this to the Welding Certification Center uh, for use for the students and for uh, you know general fabrication purposes they wanted us to try it out and they were good enough to supply us with one and let me tell you this thing is second to none it is really a very well made saw it makes light work out of any type of cutting in terms of steel stainless steel aluminum you name it all you have to do is change the blade out to accommodate whatever type of metal you're using but we use it extensively for steel and as you can see it really works well so if you should be interested in buying one of these, see the good folks at Fine, and I'll put a link at the bottom of this for your information. Okay, let's continue with the build. to showcase the fact that I'm using gloves from Weldus. These are MIG gloves. I uh, met them over at Fabtech this last year and they provided me with a few pair of these and they were fan they are fantastic. I really like them. Very soft, very supple, very easy to work with. Don't get your hands tired and a very well made glove. I'll provide a link to their website in case you're interested in picking some of these up but I highly recommend them. Okay now we're going to go ahead and tack weld these uh, tubes into place with the bases. Uh, just a quick little tack with MIG here and there, make life a little bit easier for myself. Just wanted to point out also, every time you're done uh, initiating an arc and before you start up again, you should always clip off a new piece of wire. 
Now that the uh, tack welds are in place, I'll go ahead and uh, finish weld these. I'm just going to put some intermittent fillet welds. I don't need to go all the way around the thing because it's more than enough for considering what it's going to be used for. And there they are. I use a little kind of a cursive E or a uh, kind of a uh, circular motion to complete these. And uh, if you look uh, a little bit at the bottom, we got, uh, you know, adequate heat and adequate penetration, but not so much to where we burn through on the other side completely. Just a little mill scale disturbed, that's all. And so now we're going to take uh, this kind of catch tray and getting ready to prep it up to put it on in place as well. And we start with a little bit of work on the belt sander for that. But enough of that, let's get back to our project. Once again, our friends at Weldus gave us some more gloves. These are some deerskin TIG welding gloves. Uh, I found them to be extremely comfortable, extremely durable, and offered quite a bit of protection against heat too, surprisingly. Uh, once again, these are from Weldus, and I'll have a link uh, to their website at the bottom of this uh, video if you're interested. I highly recommend their products. I think they're great, and uh, the prices are very reasonable as well. Here we go to a little TIG welding now. We're going to go ahead and TIG weld the uh, catch trays, shall we say, to the base of this thing. Uh, that way we can catch the stubs within that thing. And I found that uh, this would probably be the best way to do it. Eh, not only because uh, it makes life a little bit easier, but also to put a little bit of TIG welding on this video as well. So anyhow, take a look at the arc shots here. Okay, that's it for this one. Uh, good to be with you again. I know it's been a while. I try to get as many of these as I can out a year, but unfortunately uh, I have a day job, so <laughs> makes it hard for me. Anyway, don't forget to visit us on the web, weldfever.com, and on Instagram at uh, weldfever. Anyway, see you soon, and uh, take care. Bye-bye.